our video fans right this is uh I'll show you a quick video of how to install our prestige curtain kits um this is what you need i've got twin sliders on my van so i'm going to use two sliding door curtain kits for mine okay putting black into my van okay kit will come with two high quality blackout curtains two rails fixings and end caps the rails are pre-bent and pre-drilled so all that hard work has been done for you okay you're going to need a drill to, with a pilot drill in it for the holes for the self-topping screws and a screwdriver okay that's all you need to fit our curtains okay so sliding door sliding door we say that's behind passenger because 99% of vans have the uh, sliding door on the near side the left side um, if you have a twin slider then order that twice on the website because obviously it's for sliding doors if not you just order one for behind the driver and that will be for the fixed panel okay as you can see our rails are labelled up and down okay this one's for the down okay best thing to do is get that central to where you want it okay and then when you've got it centralized and you've got it just where you want it fix the middle one first so pilot drill that fix that middle one into place okay so as you can see Yeah, I've started to, uh, I've drilled, pilot drilled the old and I'm screwing, I'm screwing the middle one first. Okay, that allows me then just to move this so I can get it nice and central. When you look on our rails as well, you will see that one side has a chamfered edge. That goes to the front. Okay, so the chamfered edge goes to the front. Okay folks, so this end and this end has now been drilled and I've pushed the end caps in, they are ended, ended sorry, okay so you'll have one for left and one for right. Now the manufacturer do tend to over bend these slightly, obviously better than under bend so all you need to do is just tap the ends down slightly using a mallet okay which you've got them nearly uh, sitting you then need as you can see in the end cap you'll need to pilot drill through the end cap okay through that through the rail and into your bodywork on each end and then screw those down and then that's the bottom rail finished Okay, as you can see, I've done exactly the same with the top rail. Okay, I've screwed middle first, and then I'm going to do the ones nearer the end before I do the end. Pop your end caps on the top one first, you will not have room to get them on. Once you put the rail up, you will struggle. I've got uh, factory fitted sliders here which are very bulky compared to like our aftermarket sliders so I've had to come quite close to the edge of the door seal um, but like I say most people that fit these um, have our aftermarket windows which are a lot slimmer you, you can put them closer to the window doesn't matter just makes the top wear a little bit more difficult to put on but still easy okay so we're fitting the curtains You'll see the curtain hooks, okay, you literally put it in, so it's like that, I literally just turn and twist. So put it in long way so it goes inside the rail, and then just twist, and that's it, job done, do that all the way along, do the top first, 
and then we'll do the bottom okay folks right so I've just put all the uh, hooks in on the top rail okay now here we have push studs okay these once we've done the bottom part of it these have the female poppers inside there where you just want to pop those out okay and these you can basically screw to the side of the stop them coming away if you would like these are the uh, tie backs for when the curtains are closed which I'll show you later so now uh, the reason we put a top in first is because the, as you can see the curtains are short so they need to be pulled to that rail and it's always easy to do that from the top to the bottom okay so now I'm going to put the bottom ones in okay so that's one side done um, that's how they look in the tie back the tie back you can close them and the beauty of our codes is they're nice and taut and good thermal values absolutely spot on beautiful quality curtains beautiful okay so that's one side done I'm now gonna get the other side fitted Had great thermal values lovely privacy ideal for any camper these are okay so I've got both curtains on now so the next thing I'm going to do or which thing I've done is I've fixed the female poppers to the side aperture window aperture they are in here when you get your kit they're already in there so you just need to pop them out okay pilot drill again and screw these to there then what you can do is obviously pop those okay onto there that keeps it nice and private okay I'm going to do the same to this side now this one's slightly different because I'll have one at the top into the metal work and this one will just go below the handle okay okay so that's the finished article I'm sure you'll agree they look superb these are high quality these are made for high quality uh, executive mini buses um, so they really are superb curtain um, fairly simple to fit just requires a bit of patience it will take you approximately half an hour per window and it's the same principle for every window you do okay I hope this helps in fitting them like I say it does require a bit of patience but they're a lot easier to fit than any of our competitors because they come pre-drilled and pre-formed for you so they're a lot easier they are 100 by 100 denier fabric so they're 100% blackout come with everything you need in the kit these are the best quality curtains at the best prices in the UK. We are the cheapest in the UK for this quality curtain, by far.